Hey guys, I've gotten lots of requests to do small space storage areas, how to keep them functional and working for you. And we've got an awesome before and after. I'm so excited. Welcome back to Do It On A Dime with Catherine. This week I headed over to my friend's house and I went into her under the stairs storage area. This is her coat closet, but where she keeps all those extra essentials. And since she moved in, she just threw everything inside. I think when people see spaces like this, it feels so overwhelming, but I assure you it took us just 20 minutes to clear out the space, make donations and see all that she had so we could decide how to make the space work best for her. And you gotta put in the speed cleaning because somehow this is very cathartic for a lot of people. Are you one of those weirdos that just finds this so satisfying? I am right there with you. area is all about establishing function. Not just keeping items, but actually thinking through how you're gonna access them later. This closet had to function as a lot of things. A wrapping station, a place to house gifts, return items, all of her decor, her pool bags, all of her travel items. So we had to designate zones and containers for them. We got new hangers to update the space, and because Target is so amazing, she found gorgeous bins on sale for just $1.78. This was the perfect way to organize the top shelf above the coats. We also found these gray drawer organizers for just $20 at Target. It was perfect for all of her gift wrap stuff, so it's easy to access, and then she could keep the wrapping paper alongside it. Hear me you, if you are a piler, like you see floor space and you're like, oh, I should just put a pile of stuff here. You will love having project bins. This is a great way to store those items that you're going to be working on, but they're still contained and easy to put back. We maximized all of the vertical space and now she can very easily find all of the decor she needs. All of those Christmas and birthday presents are all in one spot and they're not shoved in the back of the closet and forgotten about. It's also great working with limited space because then once the bin is full, you know it's time to donate and get rid of things you're not using. And you don't have to keep lids on things if it doesn't work for you. Make the space easily accessible for you, not anybody else. And never forget the power of labeling, even really simple things. All of her labels came from the dollar section. This project was done in under two hours and it looks incredible. down below and tell me about your storage area. I feel like we often want to have more room to store things, but at the end of the day, it can also be a blessing to have less room because then you're only keeping what you're really using. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.